We have an update to the UFO story. Let's get into it because President Biden just responded. We got two different clips that I'm going to show you. And also we have this story. We're going to get into it. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new because this is the content we cover on the channel. Like scary videos, horror videos, ghost videos, and UFO videos. Mysterious object destroyed by a $400,000. Sidewinder missile may have been a hobby group. Balloon that costs what? Oh shit! Twelve dollars? I'm not buying that. That is bullshit. Okay, that is bull squash. I cannot say certain words on YouTube, but that's bull squash. Like, let's keep a buck fifty, guys. Four hundred thousand dollars for a missile? Just one missile? They took that UFO down and they paid like what? Four hundred thousand dollars for one missile? This is where your tax money is going, folks. This is this is where you, it's going, man. Four hundred thousand dollars for one missile? I just cannot compute. And then Keemstar came out because this is apparently what's being reported. Uh, on the 10th, yep, Alaska, in Alaska, UFO was shot down. On the 11th, it was shot down over in Canada. Then Lake Huron, Canada, US border, border around, right? Six days later, the government claims that they cannot retrieve these downed crafts. Oh shit! Oh, shit. The US government is claiming they cannot retrieve any of these three shot down UFOs. We're talking, guys, we're talking about these UFOs. The second they took down, they were all over that, right? It must be somewhere, and by now, it must be sitting somewhere in area 51 area 52 somewhere in the underground facility somewhere around there okay like we're, we're talking ufos here guys but check this out so ants are slowly emerge on chinese spy balloon china number one china number one other ufos what we know so president biden said this just today roll it I know exactly what these three objects were but nothing nothing right now suggests they were related to china's spy balloon program or that they were surveillance vehicles from other any other country the intelligence community's current assessment is that these three objects were most likely balloons tied to private companies recreation Bruh. or research institutions studying weather or conducting other scientific research uh do you believe that one if not uh, one if yes two if not i want to be clear we don't have any evidence that there has been a sudden increase Wrong. in the number of objects in the sky. We're now just seeing more of them partially because the steps we've taken to increase our radars, to narrow our radars. There's one more and we have after. to keep adapting our approach to uh, delaying, to dealing with these challenges. That's why I've directed my team to come back to me with sharper rules for how we will deal with these unidentified objects moving forward, distinguishing, distinguishing between those that are likely to pose safety and security risks that necessitate action and those that do not. Yeah, shout out to, shout out to you, man. $400,000 for one balloon for $12. Yeah, we're totally buying it. We're stupid. We're buying that. We're, we're sheeps, right? We're, we're buying that. But make no mistake. If any object presents a threat to the safety and security of the American people, I will take it down. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And check this out. We have a second clip. Roll it. In the aftermath of the incursion by China's high altitude balloon, our military, through the North American Aerospace Defense Command, so called NOR NORAD, closely scrutinized uh, the, uh, our airspace, including enhancing our radar to pick up more slow moving objects above our country, mm. around the world. In doing so, they uh, tracked three unidentified objects, one in Alaska, Canada, and over Lake Huron in the Midwest. Midwest. They acted in accordance with established parameters for determining how to deal with unidentified aerial objects in U.S. airspace. At their recommendation, I gave the order to take down these three objects due to hazards to civilian commercial air traffic and because we could not rule out the surveillance risk of sensitive facilities. Mm. We don't yet know exactly. Uh, honestly, okay, that that's kind of understandable, right? Like, there's a lot of stuff that they're not telling us, but that's understandable, though. But 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 another thing that's not understandable here is that there have been so many UFO sightings over the years, over decades. They never shot down any. Why now, all of a sudden, like tick, 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 all of them, like dropping uh, UFOs started dropping like flies. Exactly what these three objects were. But nothing, nothing right now suggests they were related to China's spy balloon program mm. or that they were surveillance vehicles from other any other country. The intelligence community's current assessment is that these three objects were most likely balloons tied to private companies, Bruh. recreation or research institutions studying weather or conducting other scientific research. When I came into office, I instructed our intelligence community to take a broad look at the phenomenon of unidentified aerial objects. 
We know that a range of entities, including countries, companies, and research organizations, operate objects at altitudes for purposes that are... Guys, you do not just fire a $400,000 missile. You could have just injected like a like a little, uh, like a Twinkie. You could have thrown a Twinkie. Maybe throw a Shivava at it that would go like woof woof and tear that, tear that balloon apart, tear that sucker apart, you know? Not nefarious, K including legitimate scientific research. I want to be clear. Mm. We don't have any evidence that there has been a sudden increase in the number of objects Wrong. in the sky. Guys, guys, click on this video on the screen because in one clip there were hundreds of UFOs flying together. Or click the video on the left. This is a scary video. They don't want you seeing these videos, guys. Check these videos out and I will see you right there.